Hey there! How are you? Where's where? If Anasi. Zunin, guide me. See you, old friend. There you are, Gunnar. And with a smile like I haven't seen in some time. Eivor! Over here! Eivor! Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar! With the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have! This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Avendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mama dad carried even gilder than Anun. Couldn't help Drew's me. Bridget man power the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on, but the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Dim Jolch, you two bags of air, see how good 
that Eivor Gal cleese down. Right? No daylight to waste then, eh? So the elder man may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Right, yeah. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. The elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place, and he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur. This is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I am here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards... Then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your lands safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks. Only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Zevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family. ...before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan. But your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes! The Shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path... A fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. 
It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the Reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews, and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Canom your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunin for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety! Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? That was close. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. 
Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the Brevo. But you saved his hive. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cuck Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan Vela Sprudjan and Creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louved. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louved, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice, clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. children knew they should not have been out in the late and in the dark. So they bent low to the ground. It's Erladi Wen! That's right, my love. Erladi Wen. The white lady. Her dark eye fell upon the children and... Oh! <laughs> 
which is why none of you should run out alone to the woods tonight. You will stay in sight of the tree and the wicker man, yes? Yes, Mother Modren. Yes, Mother Modren. Now, the first of you to bring me back a candied chestnut shall have a treat. Sure, that's evil, but... Show me what lies ahead. That house for sure. Good. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. ready to rhyme with me down the road from my abode there is an open veil i've been here knocking and the walking now give me cake and ale brilliant that is oh lads getting into their cups scaring the wee ones Warrior, knocker of doors, victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? It? A worthy haul, and a tradition worth keeping up. Trick or treat. What business have you? Oh, the Mary Louis. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mari Lewid haunts my door. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, gonna. You should see this! Gunnar! My cakes! I need your eyes, my friend.
damn deserter. You are either fearless or stupid, boy, to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ in tall. You look we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look us. Modron's a compass to patch this land. Will he walk again? The gash is deep. If I cannot save the leg, the pigs will eat well tonight. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenny, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I'll give me strength. My mom Modlin is known on a humor toish good run. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Just to be thung and thung? Thung the Daltas worker. Huh. 
With bitter ale and sweet friends. That is a fine way to end the day. I thought the church condemned this celebration. I hate the church. Name's Gwilim, and I turned to God just three years back. And you look like a man with a past. What were you before you took up the cloth? Me? A, a, a grain farmer. Had to take up the sword a few times to protect my crops. What brought you to God? You know you need to change after the third night you wake up britchless in pig shat, with no idea how you got there. Do you like Gloucester? Ah, tis a beauteous place. Shame they're losing their elderman. Enjoy the festival, Gwilym. Ah, perhaps a drink later. Alone, with your thoughts at last. Eivor! <laughs> Perhaps. Every moment is sweeter when you are the Harvest King. All this bounty. Soon, I will join it. But eat, drink! Enjoy all that Gloucester's lush woods offer. Alone, with... Eivor! But eat! There you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilym here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. Gwilym, the warrior monk. Now we can match wills with a flagon in hand. <laughs> Ale is known to blunt even the sharpest of blades, Eivor. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Stone soon. Make a hog's head of ale, bastard! <laughs> Too strong for you. Come on, lad. Show the damn you metal. <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me, for allies new and old. 
Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A true father sacrifices himself for his people. Gives his all, his blood and flesh. A great honor. But a sad fate. Hmm. When you speak these words, it reminds me of the Christ. Aye, lad. Now you can see how a man like myself sees the value in both. A toast, then. To Elderman Coonan! Joyous and generous! Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. this water i feel like thaw chugging oceans no effect to my head or step <laughs> you heard the man give him something stronger <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic good give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it wow that tastes awful it feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tefter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah, the greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union. To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> shh, shh, shh. People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? This way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. Uh, you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! whoosh. Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter! Where are you?
Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ah, and the effects of that draft still cling. After, are you here? Covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards and to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Willem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! Tacky with old blood from the new king. It would be best to lie low. <laughs> <laughs> 